today we're talking about the things that you need when you're going to go scalloping off Florida. Some of the big things that you're going to need to make sure that you have, you really don't need much, which is what makes it such a fun and exciting sport, but you're definitely going to want a mask for some goggles and maybe a snorkel. You're going to have your head in the water looking for scallops under the water. You also might want some foot gear or some flippers like this to you know, help you get through the water, especially if there's a current. These are really helpful, um, but you don't necessarily need those either. What you will want is a mesh bag. You're going to put your scallops in these as you find them. And basically, it's just like an Easter egg hunt. You're going to put face down in the water. You're going to look for scallops in the seagrass. You may have to dive down a little bit to pick them up. They're usually found in three to nine feet of water. And you'll just fill up your bag here and then bring them back to your boat. One really important thing is you'll be face down in the water for a long period of time. Make sure you have that sunscreen, especially covering the back half of you because you are going to be face down in the water and you want to make sure not to get a good sunburn. Scalloping is a great sport for the whole family. It's very fun. You can do it not too far offshore. Um, there are even places in the border where you can wade in and go scalloping. And all ages can do it. Most important thing though, make sure you do have your dive flag if you're going to be out on a boat scalloping or even if you're wading in pretty far offshore. You want to make sure you stay within a certain distance of the dive flag all the time so that other people will be aware that you're in the water.